What's good YouTube? I'm back with my intro from Walmart. In this video, I'm giving you guys some tips to become better Fortnite players and eventually win more games. Let's get into the video. Starting off with the first tip is building when you're not sure of enemy position. Now what I'm doing here is I'm actually getting shot at and I have no idea where it's coming from so I start building stairs. You see me fumbling around like a dummy but eventually I get them set and I hear him coming up pushing me. So I build this stair and I push over him so he thinks he's getting a jump on me but I'm actually getting a jump on him. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover that in later on in the video but getting a jump on your enemies when they think they're jumping you is very important. Okay, so moving on is pushing when the enemy is not expecting. Now, I mentioned this a little bit in the previous clip, but I just heard a guy upstairs in his house. So instead of pushing up through the stairs like a normal person would do, I actually find a way around and go on top of him. Now, that's not a common way for them to be attacked. So somebody who's not as experienced will be caught off guard. Now, this may not work against professional players, but let's just see what happens. Now I'm not sure if he fell asleep at his controller, but he did not know what was going on at all. Okay, so this is just a little add-on to the previous clip. I heard somebody in this house, but I really couldn't tell where he was. I'm not sure if I'm just crazy, but I jumped into the house where somewhere he wouldn't be expecting me to be sitting. So I heard him walking and I just stayed still to really pinpoint where he was. And I heard him coming up the stairs, so I luckily got the kill here. And another important tip is when you get the kill... Don't immediately go for the loot because sometimes people will be watching that loot. And here I heard somebody coming so I didn't immediately go for the loot and I got the kill. Okay so after getting the kill I heard somebody else actually in the house. So I waited here to see if he was going to come up the stairs. Now I saw him go down by the corner underneath the stairs. So like I said earlier, I pushed him when he wasn't expecting and I caught him completely bamboozled by what was happening. One of the main reasons I see people dying late game is from bush players. Now you just always have to check the bushes for players, especially when the circle is getting tiny because that's where they like to hide. Now in this clip I'm looking for the dude like crazy and he's actually underneath me in a bush. So I eventually start shooting the bushes and the first bush I shoot, he was hiding inside of it and I actually got the kill. Okay, so for this next tip, it's be aware of your surroundings. So here I see someone, but there's also somebody behind him. So I don't fully commit on the first guy just in case he tags me up and then the second guy can just clean me up with one bullet. So the second guy starts building a base. He's a smart player. So I actually start pushing him because reason being is I don't like shooting from long ranges. I'm just not comfortable with it. Some of you may be. You could have stayed back there. But in my preference, I'm just going to push him up a little bit. So instead of fully committing, going crazy, building on top of him, I heal up because it's not it's not worth it just jumping into a gunfight to die. And in the, before I do that, I build behind me so I don't get flanked, which is also a good tip. And while I'm healing up, I'm looking left and right in case he decides to push me. Instead of looking at his base only, I'm looking at my whole surroundings. And by doing that, I notice him up on the chimney by him poking out a little bit. My boy thought he was slick by going up there, but I really saw him because I was scanning the area. So I pull out my sniper, get a quick shot on him. He was not expecting that at all. And for some reason he challenges, so I just cleaned up the kill. Okay, so for the final tip, it's really just me putting everything together that I covered in the video. Now what's happening here is I'm getting shot at, it's a 1v1, and I'm building really sloppily. I'm just trying to find out where he is. So I'm back, I actually end up falling back down, but I'm still building, not trying to get shot at without knowing where he is. So I build over him to get closer one and to get a height advantage, which is very important. So I peek over the edge and I immediately tell myself, oh, I have this kill. But what I don't do is reload my rocket launcher before I jump down. Now that's very important. Have your guns reloaded before you go into a gunfight. But luckily I still got the kill because he didn't know where I was. So that's all the tips I had for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If this video gets 25 likes, I'll go ahead and make a part 2. And YouTube, I'll see you guys later.